If something important happens, a common way of notifying the user is with an alert, a pop-up window containing a title, message, and one or more buttons, depending on what you want to do. But think about it. When should an alert be shown to the user? I said before, views are a function of our state, and so alerts aren't somehow an exception to that. They are also a function of our state. And that means rather than saying, show the alert, we instead create our alert and then set conditions under which this alert should be shown. Now, a basic SwiftUI alert has a title and a button that dismisses it. But the interesting part is how we present that alert, when we present that alert to the user. We don't put it into a variable and say myalert.show because that goes back to the old series of events way of thinking, not views being a function of their state. Instead, we start by making some state, like at state, private var, showing alert, is false. We then attach our alert somewhere to our UI, telling it to watch this state, use that state, to determine whether the alert is currently showing. And SwiftUI will just sit and watch this Boolean. And as soon as it becomes true, it'll show the alert for us. Putting it all together, we can say inside our body, there is a button with a title of show alert. And when that's pressed, we'll say showing alert equals true. We'll then attach an alert modifier here, which will create the alert for us. We'll say dot alert, give it a title of important message, and use is presented as dollar showing alert. Inside there will be a button OK with an empty closure inside. And this attaches the alert modifier to a button. But honestly, it doesn't really matter where the alert modifier is attached. All we're doing is saying an alert exists in this current piece of UI and it'll be shown when showing alert is true. Now have a close look at this alert modifier itself. You can see we have a title, important message, but there's also this two-way data binding here for showing alert. It will be presented, it will show the alert when showing alert is true, but it's two-way because SwiftUI will set showing alert back to false when the alert is dismissed. Now look at the button. We have button OK with an empty closure at its action, meaning we aren't assigning any functionality to run when the button is pressed. That doesn't matter though, because any button inside an alert will automatically dismiss the alert. This closure is there to let us add any extra functionality as well as dismissing the alert. Now you can add more buttons here, of course you can. It's a particularly good place to start adding roles to your buttons saying something like uh, button delete. I'll use a role of dot destructive and some deleting code in here or button cancel with role of dot cancel. And there's no code in here because canceling just means dismiss the alert without doing anything else. And finally, if you want to, you can add message text to go alongside your title. This time passing in a second trailing closure, uh, I'll say as a message here, of text, please read this. I'll go ahead and press play to run that code back. And we should see both the title and the message appearing along with our two buttons, one destructive and one canceling. Here's the alert now, boom. The title at the top, bigger and bolder, message below, cancel is bold and blue, and delete is a regular text, but in red. This finishes the final part of the overview for this project. It's almost time to get started with the real code for this project. If you wanna go ahead and save any example code you've made so far, please do so now. But when you're ready, please hit undo 11 billion times to get back to the original code for uh, the file when we first made the project. So we've got a nice clean slate to build upon going forward.